Welcome to the Confidence in You podcast, designed to help you build confidence and create positive, lasting change in your life. And here's your host, Helen Luxford. Hi, and welcome back to the podcast, and thanks again for being here. Today, we're tackling one of the most challenging and transformative decisions you can make, the choice to say no. Now, we all want to be helpful. We all want to be liked. But how often do we say yes to things that we don't really want to do, that drain our energy or that overwhelm us or that simply don't align with our priorities, with what we want to do? In my experience as a coach, this happens a lot. I often work with clients that come to me because they don't have enough time They don't know how to prioritise, they want to do things, but they can't find time because they're always saying yes to everyone else. And it's a really common thing that we automatically say yes. And sometimes the words come out before we've even really thought about it. Or worse, we're thinking that we really don't want to do it, but we feel obliged to say yes and we can't say no for whatever reason. And so that's what we do. We say yes when we really want to say no. So today, we're going to talk about why learning to say no is one of the most powerful steps you can take toward building confidence and reclaiming control over your life. So let's start by looking at why do we struggle to say no? So let's have a chat about that. Why is saying no so difficult, especially for women? Well, it's because we've been conditioned by societal or familial ways to believe that saying no makes us less likable, less compassionate, or even selfish. And we can worry that if we say no, we'll disappoint someone or we might miss out on an opportunity. FOMO is real. But here's the facts. Every time you say yes to something that doesn't serve you, you're saying no to yourself. I want you to consider this. Think of a person. Think of this person I'm going to describe. Now, it may be someone you know, or it may even sound a little like you. Think of a woman, imagine now, a woman who is always the go-to person at her job or for her family or for her friends. They all know that they can rely on her, that they can ask her to do anything, and she'll always say yes or find a way to help them, even though everyone knows she's busy, she's run down, she's overwhelmed but everyone still asks she says yes to every extra task every project every request she's completely stressed out she's frustrated she's overextended but she still says yes and she feels trapped because she doesn't want to say yes but she doesn't know how to say no without feeling guilty sorrowful or shame and it was getting too much for her So she sought out a mentor and a coach. And the moment she did this for herself, the moment she allowed herself some self-compassion to seek some assistance, and she allowed herself to understand what saying yes to everyone else is doing to her, she learned how to set boundaries and she started saying no. No to the things that didn't align with her priorities. And guess what? Her entire life changed. She gained time energy and a new level of respect from her colleagues, her friends and her family. So think about this. What is something that you said yes to this week that you really wanted to say no to? And how can you build your ability to say no next time you're in a similar situation? Think about what is something you can say that you can practice saying to yourself so that you're ready next time a similar situation pops up. What can you do and how can you learn to say no to those things that you don't see value in, that you don't want to go to, that you just can't be bothered with, or that you'd really rather not do? So now let's look at the empowering choice to set boundaries. Setting boundaries isn't about being selfish. It's about protecting your time, your energy and your well-being. When you say no you're creating space for what truly matters to you. You're choosing to prioritise your needs, your goals, your health, your wellbeing, your time. So what are boundaries? Well, Brene Brown says boundaries are what's okay 
and what is not okay for you. Not for others, not for what others think is okay or not okay, but what's okay and not okay for you. Brene believes boundaries are about self-respect for yourself and for the other person. And that setting boundaries means prioritizing your needs and practicing self-care without feeling guilty. She goes on to say that without boundaries, the healthy lines in a relationship can become blurred and you may begin taking on responsibility for what someone else should be responsible for. Boundaries are the ultimate form of self-respect because they allow you to maintain control over your life and give you the power to make decisions that are aligned with your beliefs and values. And guess what? When you say no with confidence, people start to respect you more. They see that you value yourself and they learn to value your time and energy too. Now you can set a boundary in any or all areas of your life. So think about creating a list of areas of your life where you'd like to create, set or hold a boundary. I'm going to list some common boundaries that I help clients with. So it could be around your time or your energy or financial and material boundaries, discussing money, lending money, lending objects or your beliefs, spiritual or religious boundaries. It could be around communication and the way people speak to you or the language used around you or to you. It might be physical or space boundaries, so personal space, physical touch, hugs or kisses from family members or friends or even strangers that you don't want to kiss you. Or it might be sexual boundaries. Or it could be emotional or mental boundaries. And you could say to people, I don't feel comfortable discussing this, or can you please not discuss those topics around me? Any area of your life where you sometimes or always feel uncomfortable is a good place to start thinking about what boundary is being crossed to make you feel that way. What is it that is leading to you feeling uncomfortable in that situation? And then how can you set or establish a boundary and how can you communicate that to others? So this week I encourage you to just feel into your body, feel into your head, heart and gut and when are there areas where you do feel a little bit uncomfortable because they're a good place to start thinking about what boundaries you could set and hold in those areas to protect your own well-being. So now let's talk about how to say no with confidence. How do you start saying no without feeling guilty or anxious? It's all about preparation and mindset. So let's talk about a few strategies to help you say no with confidence and grace. Number one, be clear and direct. Know what you want. You don't need to give a long explanation or excuses, although that is quite often what we tend to do. A simple, I'm unable to do that, or sorry, that doesn't work for me right now that's enough. Or something like, I know I've always done that for or with you, but I can't this time, but I know you'll do great. Keep it simple. The more you over explain, the more you give others room to negotiate or push back. Number two, when appropriate, offer an alternative. If you genuinely want to help or you genuinely want to do something, but you can't commit, offer an alternative. So you could say, I can't do that today, but I could help you next week. Or you could say, I'm really sorry I can't help, but why don't you ask so-and-so? They might be able to help. Or if it's work-related, you could say, I'm really overstretched at the moment. I can't take on any more projects, but I can recommend someone who might be able to help you. And number three, practice. Like any new skill, saying no gets better and easier with practice. And again, I say it, start small. Say no to something small. Say no to a minor request and build up from there. It might be you're asked out for lunch or for coffee and you don't really want to go. So you say, look, I'm really sorry, I can't do that today. The more you do it, the more confident you'll become. And the more confident you'll become, the more easily you'll be able to say no to the things that you don't want to go to or with. So... Practice saying no in situations where the stakes are low. 
as I said, it could be declining an invite to a social event you don't want to attend or saying no to a minor request from a colleague. These small victories will help you build the confidence to set bigger boundaries and to be able to build your ability to say no when it really counts. Now we've looked at why we struggle to say no, the power of setting boundaries and how to say no with confidence. Let's now talk about the freedom that comes from saying no. Because the best part about learning to say no is it is so liberating. When you free yourself from obligations that you don't want to go to, you don't want to be part of, that drain your energy or don't serve your goals, you open up space in your heart, your head, your life for things that truly matter to you. You have more time for the people, the activities and the projects that align with your values and your beliefs. And when you're able to say yes to those things more and no to the things that don't align, you'll feel lighter, more empowered and more in control of your life. And remember, when you say no to something that's not right for you, you're also saying a big fuck yes to yourself. You're saying yes to your needs, your priorities and your personal growth. So next time you're in a situation If it's not a fuck yes, you're excited about saying yes, dig deep, take a breath and say no, not now. I'm really sorry I can't commit at this time. Whatever the words are for you, practice them and learn ways, different ways of saying no in different situations. And when you do and you start saying no, you will become empowered. Your confidence will build. You'll get more clarity around what you want and what you don't want and you will be able to create the changes and the life that you want and deserve because when you're saying no to those things you don't want, you're saying yes to your needs, yes to your priorities and yes to your personal growth and yes to your well-being. Thank you again for tuning into this episode. I hope today's conversation inspires you to start saying no to the things that don't serve you and yes to the life you truly want to live and deserve. Remember, setting boundaries is a form of self-care and it's one of the most powerful ways to build your confidence. Please share with family and friends. Remember to subscribe for more hints and tips. And until next time, I'm reminding you to protect your energy, prioritize your well-being and make choices that empower you. And remember, it's okay to let your light shine. Until next time, bye for now.